is, everybody. We're back. We're back. For the double rapid review. Wilderness Trail. It's like two wildernesses all at the same time. Buy one, get one wilderness. Yeah. But not uh, really. But yes, buy both. Side note, uh, Whole 30 day two. And you're already on to the bourbon. Day two. Yeah. We're doing a, spe a special rapid review just so. Oh, just so you drink some bourbon. Oh, even better. That's better. Mm. So throw that one into the, yeah, into that glass. So we have two picks here. Yes. Mmm. Don't care. Um, let's switch. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we have the regular bourbon. These yep. are both store picks. Yeah. Wilderness Trail bourbon and the Wilderness Trail weeded bourbon. Yes. Um, Same proof. Very similar in age. They're right around four and a half years. Yep. This one's four years, seven months. Four, three. So and that close. one is four years, three months. Yep. Um, so not the oldest bourbon by any means. But a level four char. We talk a lot of times it's either three or four. Yep. This is the level four char. Um, and these are uh, these are picks from uh, Tampa Bay Whiskey Society. We got these at yeah. David off. You can go pick them up. Um, I'm sure that's not the only well, I don't want to speak for it. But we got these at David off. Shout out Tommy. He'll take care of you. Go in there and see him. I, yeah. I don't know. Little cool things to me. I, it's got the bottle number out, yeah. out of the yield. I, I don't know why I like that. I like it. I like it. It makes you feel kind of like, oh, that one was I'm selected for I'm a fan of Wilderness Trail. It's yeah. one of those small craft distilleries. They put the mash bill on the side of their bottle. Love that. How great is that? You just know what it is. This is 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. So what's cool about this is it's exactly the same, but flopped out the rye for the wheat. Yeah. So yours should be much sweeter. Well, we're switched, but that one's yeah. mine. This one's yours. Um. Exact same thing. 64 corn, 12 malted, malted barley, uh, 24 rye as opposed to wheat. The wheat is 117 proof, which is the, where the bourbon is 110. So a mm. little bit of differences there. Oh, and you can tell right away on the nose. We put the, I believe we... Mm, interesting. What did we put again? What did we put in this? This, is, this one is uh, the bourbon and this one's the wheat. Yeah, the wheat in the bourbon on a budget glass. Shout out us. Interesting. Yeah, mine are both for bourbon budget, but oh, it's the knockoff bourbon budget. Yeah. It's the generic, and mine is just plain. Mm. If you have cool glasses, Glen Karen's, that you'd like us to uh, review your review whiskey on, please contact Ben since he's not on social media. This is interesting. Okay, so the profile on this is very weeded. It, it's very yeah. similar to like a Maker's or something like that. It's Caramel, definitely it's definitely sweeter. Much sweeter. like the. Uh, there's a lot of spice. A lot of spice to the bourbon on the nose. Well, it's a. And, it's a higher rye bourbon than what you can right. really see. Like, you know, we've talked about this. Wild Turkey markets itself as a high rye bourbon. Right. And, or Wild Turkey 101. And, it, and we've, what was it, like 18, 19, 17%. Yeah. Like, it's not very hot. Maybe it would be like 12. But that's a high rye. Yeah, there's a lot of spice in that one. All right, so which one do we try? All right, we're try the bourbon first. Do you like the nose? Which nose do you like better? Mm, good question. I feel like the weeded nose is is it's a little so more different. pleasant. Yeah, we've you talked know? about how sometimes weeded can have the characteristics of like maple syrup, it's gritty, pancakes. maple syrup, yeah, pancakey, and that's totally what I get on that. Mm, it's really good. Nose yeah. on that's really good. Nose on this, let's do one. Let's give it a fair shake though. Mm -hmm. Classic bourbon nose with a good amount of yeah. spice in there too. Definitely a ton of vanilla. The vanilla is really nice on that. Decent amount of oak. Yep. The baking spice, the cinnamon, the clove. Mm -hmm. Really present as well. Okay, which one are you tasting first? I'm doing the bourbon. Straight bourbon. Straight bourbon. Okay, because oh, that's their standard. The original. So that makes sense. Yeah. Did we do this yet? Cheers. That's it. Oh, okay. And we're, and we're back. And we're back. I don't know what's going on. That vanilla is strong on the front. Ooh. Spice. Finishes with spice. Really spicy. Oh, my goodness. I like that. That's mm. really good. I like vanilla. I, mm. Vanilla is a... So many times you get the caramels, you get the dark yeah. chocolates. When there's when the vanilla comes through... It's very present. That's what I love. I love... Man, that's great. That spice is still there. That is a finish. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would score a good finish score with you. I think that's so still too. going. That's a great finish. Because it gets spicier. And I think the Temple Whiskey Society's profile mm -hmm. likes that. They like mm -hmm. sweet up front and then really spicy uh, on the finish, which is nice. That's a good, man, that's a good four. And I'm not just like a week and a half between whiskeys like I was last time that we had it. 
Really? So, yeah. Are you getting any kind of like grassy notes? I was getting kind of a grass. I don't know if I'm getting grass. Like a, like an earthy note. Earthy. Yeah. I that. Grass sounds kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, like a... Not, this is not what it tastes like, but like almost like a mushroomy, earthy, yeah, I dark red wine-ish, you know, earthy flavor. Yeah. yeah, a lot of earth. I don't say grassy. <laughs> oh, wilderness. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's like you're in the forest. Yeah, smelling some uh, some, some, some earthy grass, notes, and dirt. Yeah. Mm. I do get some earthy notes. A lot of earthy notes out of that. Interesting. That's good. Very That's interesting. Really good. All right, we did. Okay, we did. So we are going again from what one ten to one seventeen up to one seventeen. Man, we gotta put. We, Brendan and I were talking yesterday about doing some weeded, you know, weeded king of the hill. A weeded king of the hill. A one seventeen. Well, I wish. Uh, but if you're doing that up against a maker's cast strength, against a um, uh, well, our foolproof, well, our full, uh, or even a well one hundred seven would be oh, again, yeah, yeah, somewhat yeah. similar. We could also uh, do it up against a larceny barrel proof, like that. I think a lot. I of, think that okay. will compete really well. I yeah. think this will compete the same way. Okay. Nose is great. I'm trying to reset myself from that. One. That was good. I'm glad I left some of that. Yeah, we'll go back to that. Definitely sweeter. Much sweeter. A lot sweeter on the palate. A little more heat. I mean, I think that, that kind of does show up. It's not like a ton more, but I think mm -hmm. you can get that little bit more heat that's on it. But it balances that sweetness out. All of those characteristics we talked about on the nose, this is very consistent. It goes right into that, that bready, that maple, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, that syrup kind of uh, mm -hmm. flavor. I think it's good. I feel like, I feel like I'm tasting the youngness of this. I get a lot of grain forward characteristics on this. Mm. Um, I that. And I think, like, I, I feel like I can taste wheat. Like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a wheat field right now. You, you were hanging eating out. grass to eating wheat. Eating grass and then just <laughs> chewing on some wheat. That uh, is less appealing than it is. It's less appealing for us than it is in your head, but. Mm. No, I mean, it's just, these, this distillery, this, like I said, this is a craft distillery. And so it's going to put out some. Unique flavors. Yeah, it's gonna be the juices from. I'm pretty sure it's them. Oh yeah, it is. yeah, it's their yeah. own stuff. Yeah. So, like I said, it's a younger distillery. It's been growing up for the past couple of years. Yeah. Um, distribution has been getting pretty, pretty this much nationwide. Good, I like the sweetness on this. Oh yeah. I, you know that I'm a bigger fan of the sweetness. You like yeah. the more spice. Um, this is not as com the weeded is not as complex. As the bourbon is by any means, yeah. where you get the vanilla and then the spice in the back end. Um, this has got a little heat to it. That one seventeen balance. Are you getting like a like a, a vanilla wafer, kind of like on the vanilla wafer to the top of a banana pudding? You know, a little bit of the crunchy, bready, mm. vanilla y. See that? You know what I'm there is some vanilla characteristics with this. I don't know if it's the vanilla bomb that the first one is because I think the yeah, vanilla I think takes right over, it. but. I think it's a vanilla on that. All right, let's go, go back. Going back, it's vanilla forward like no one's business. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'll never backwards. drink this without taking a sip of this first. Yeah, man, it is so much vanilla. Okay, yeah, that is, it is like 100% like, 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 like vanilla extract. Okay. That's crazy how much of vanilla bomb. We just is. got out of Christmas. Yeah. I, I'm sorry to do this to you, but. Don't put this in eggnog. It smells like eggnog. Don't. It smells like eggnog. <laughs> it smells. I can kind of get a vanilla custard there. Okay. Like a rice pudding. Going back to that, that's that's insane. Very interesting. Okay. Take the a sip and we'll go back okay. the other way. Okay. Mm. That one's so good. The spice comes in quicker after you've been doing the uh, yeah. sweeter one. Yeah. The finish on this holds on. Like I would agree. Like yeah. the finish. Well, it's finish 110. Better. Okay. Uh, it's a quarter percent, uh, 24 percent rye. So a higher mm. rye bourbon. Way more vanilla. We also just opened this. And so it'll probably mellow out just a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Love the right. Wow. Vanilla is so strong in that. So strong. All right. Back to pancakes. Oh, I get, I get so much corn now. A ton of corn on the nose. You're right. A ton. Like et very ethanol heavy. Interesting. Very interesting. It's crazy what your palate and your like when your your palate and your nose is adjusting to different yeah. things, and it's like I mean we're just totally wrecking ourselves right now. But okay, so if you're buying one bottle, oh, you only get one. 
The vanilla. I I don't know. Luckily, I think Davidoff has probably both of these still available. So you can go grab both if you want to try. If not for sale, definitely at the bar. And I can't imagine these pours are insane by any means. And Tommy yeah. treats you right. And doesn't, the pours aren't insane for anything. Exactly. So, um, if I only had one. Oh, it's like asking me to choose between my children. That's true. But you can always, you always can choose one. You can always, like, that. You can always have another. True. Three. Might as well. I'm going bourbon. Yeah. Bourbon's great. Bourbon is so good. Vanilla. Vanilla bomb. Yeah, but I got some earthy notes. I got to agree. The vanilla in this is right up my alley. Even as yeah. somebody who loves the sweet stuff, this is... This would be, I don't know with the proof. This might be better for somebody that's not ready to jump right into that spice, but I yeah, think Yeah, starting at 117 proof. That's good. That's the, yeah, you'd probably have that in your beginner, beginner pack. Um, True. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going with the bourbon as well. Um, the the weeded is very good. Mm. Love the sweetness. But the vanilla and the spice on this, this... And everything nice. This is like a little bit of... Um, this is like eggnog mixed with rum chata. Eggnog and rum chata <laughs> in, in a glass. Yeah. In right, a glass. So how else would you concern that? Okay. Letter grades. Letter grades. I'm giving the weeded a B, mm -hmm. and I'm giving the uh, bourbon a B plus. Exactly where I'm at. Yeah. B plus B. Yeah. This is above average. Not my cup of bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Same. Uh this is really good. I, I would, I would go and grab this. Both really good. I think if you're, you know, if you're a weed yeah. fan, we talk about, you know, my buddy Scott, huge larceny barrel proof. Fan. Yeah. Because of that, he would like this better. This um, is a great entry level into the craft distillery scene. Absolutely. You want to try something that's not your Buffalo Trace, not mm -hmm. your Heaven Hill, not your uh, Brown Foreman. Step into the Wilderness Trails. Great entry option. I'm close on that, bumping that up to an A minus. But I'm gonna stick with B plus. Okay. okay. I'm a homer. I end up giving everything Jeez. an A, and then people are like, oh, you're full yeah. crap. Everything's A pluses. This is close. This is close to an A minus. I'm not gonna do it. Interesting. But it's a, it's a B plus. It's very good. B plus for TJ Pittenger and Bing Cock. And myself. Cheers. Cheers.